Hi guys, so today is just a get ready with me while I complain about my exploding desk. Ah! Let's talk. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me just, I guess I'll just jump right into it as I start to get myself ready. Ready for what? So, um, as you can see, I'm all types of red. I do my skincare first, and it always makes my um, skin really, like, mad. But So, first, I know it's been a while, but I had so many things happen that, honestly, it's a wonder why I'm not, like, falling apart right now but mm, oh see I jumped right into it I didn't even show you I'm using Decora's um, mattifying it's in pomegranate feels really good it just helps to it's like a, um, a primer moisturizer kind of a thing but it helps to kind of <laughs> the pores so anyway um I had so many things going on that it's just not even funny um I will jump right into like the primary um thing that happened recently that I just can't get out of my head. I don't know what it is. I had recently, I have a glass desk. I'll start by, I'll start with that. I have a glass desk um, that I got, I think it was in like 2018. It was a long time ago. It's, I got it off Amazon and this is going to be tricky, I guess, talking to you about this. I'm using my Mally Roncal. Um, it's a dark circle corrector, but I use it on my eyelids too, because I have darkness on my eyes. So I bought this um, L-shaped glass white desk that I just fell in love with. I thought it was so beautiful. And actually, I think my fiance is the one who initially saw it online. He was like, wow, this is a really cool looking desk. And it was, I thought it was really pretty, very feminine, very um, delicate um, looking. So it wasn't like this big bulky, this big bulky contraption. Um, and in the apartment that we lived in, although it was um, a duplex, and my um, studio space was gonna be in the basement, I didn't really have a lot of space because that apartment didn't have a garage. So we used our basement as, um, same stuff under my eyes. We used our basement as storage. So it literally, it was technically a really nice looking basement even though it wasn't finished. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow and I'm gonna do um, the Ciate London. It's the editor palette, New England just because I think they're just really beautiful, beautiful shade, whoop, beautiful colors. And um, I'm not really doing anything too crazy. I just kind of, this is my time. So I'm just doing a little something to make myself feel a little bit better. But I don't really put anything too heavy on here. I have, um, it's kind of distributed where I have like my brushes and my makeup, as I mentioned before, and my high mirror, it doesn't really weigh that much at all. So I can't even say that you know, there was ever a worry in my head about my desk exploding. So the other night, a few weeks back, um, my fiance is on his way to work, he comes downstairs to get some things out of the um, unfinished side where we have our laundry and things. And I didn't show you what color I just did. I'm sorry, I'm so wrapped up in this. This first shade that I did is this one right up here. And it doesn't say the name of the color, so it's just that light color. I'm sorry, it doesn't. And the next color that I'm going to use is this kind of a, a brownish shade there. So the um, he sends me a text, but this is like, you know, for something in the morning. So I'm not going to see it, obviously, until I get up later on. And when I do, it's just, I'm really sorry. I don't know if you if you know if you saw it last night, but something broke in the basement. And, um, I, you know, I'm kind of left like, what? I don't get it. I see it in the morning and I was like, what does he mean? Something broke in the basement. So when I wake up, I call him from bed. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, your desk, um, it, it exploded. <laughs> My desk exploded. What are you talking about? He's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know what happened, but your stuff is all over the floor and you know, it's, it's not good. So, um, he ends up coming home early that day 
and you know I'm getting my um our, our son you know kind of up and situated with brushing teeth and whatnot and he sends me a picture of what it looks like down here since I hadn't been downstairs yet I certainly wasn't rushing to the bad news I was gonna take care of everything I needed to take care of before I came downstairs and you know witnessed whatever tragedy had happened because so many things have been going on as I mentioned before and I won't list them all in this video or this video will be super long um, on my eyelid there I just used this um, kind of shimmery color next to the first color that I used so he sends me this picture and I just oh my god like is this real so I'm all getting all, you know, bajiggity about it all. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this isn't, there's no way this is, this happened. Like what? So when I finally make it downstairs and, you know, he, he kind of meets me and he's like, you hadn't seen it. You didn't come downstairs. I'm like, no, I didn't come running downstairs. I come down the stairs and I just stopped and I looked and there on the floor were just so many makeup brushes. And yeah, I mean, I kind of just stopped like, like it didn't seem real. And um, from my desk to the steps where you go upstairs, it's about 10 feet. Maybe give or take a foot actually. It might actually be a little bit further as I'm looking at it now, but there were pieces of glass, like chunks all the way over there. So what's happened so my lights are still hanging okay so there's nothing like actually fell and it's not the whole desk it's the corner piece because they're three separate glass pieces um and according to their website it says um the two side surfaces hold 50 pounds each and the corner piece holds up to 20 pounds okay that's great and the keyboard um tray holds up to 10 pounds and it's tempered safety glass so anyway, um, I'm looking at my brushes and I just, I get so emotional. Like I, okay, if you follow my channel, if you're on here a lot, you know that I'm a makeup artist and my brushes are like everything. Now I specialize in airbrush makeup, but there's something about makeup brushes that I don't I see them as, as essential, as a necessity, as something to be, you know, carefully selected, taken care of, you know, you, you wash them at least once a week, um, you keep them clean, you, they just, if you do for them, they do for you and your makeup always looks great. So I'm looking at my, um, I'm gonna use this little uh, blushy kind of shade there. Um, I'm just looking at all this on the floor and I'm like, this, this can't possibly, you know, I'm honestly in disbelief. So as I look at all my brushes, I feel like my eyes are like welling up with tears and, um, it, you know, I, I don't, I don't poo poo really, you know, makeup brushes, brands and things like that. I mean, if you saw my previous video, um, don't be a brush snob. If you haven't, I will, you know, link it above. Um, but the reason why I say that is because the brushes that I've purchased for myself and for my clients are really, really good brushes. And I spent, it was just an investment in my craft i love makeup i love doing makeup on myself i love doing makeup on other people so for me it's not like a waste of money like if i come home with a new pack of brushes i, I just don't see it as as a as something that i shouldn't do it's like a carpenter coming home with another box of nails you're going to use them you use them all the time so why wouldn't you bring home another set if you see that it's like a good deal or you know if you the one are getting a little bit worn out or your your business is growing and you're just going to be using them more so since it's not really realistic to, um, you know, think that you can come home from a makeup job with dirty brushes and be able to, you know, wash them and have them dry for first thing in the morning, sometimes they don't dry like that. Sometimes you pretty much have to use your other set. So I have multiple sets. Okay, so that being said, um, you know, I, I kind of, I go back upstairs and I'm just 
in the kitchen with my fiance and I'm just, I'm talking to him and I just can't believe that this is happening. I was like, well, I'm gonna reach out to the desk company because, you know, holy exploding desk Batman, it blew up for no reason. Like, and I, I've lost, this is like, I've lost out because of this weird exploding desk situation. So, um, when I came back downstairs and I was checking on my brushes and I was like, something's gotta be up. Like something has to be able to be done. And if you only knew um, what my investment looks like, you would understand. And um, we'll leave that at that. So I go upstairs and you know, I can't help it. I'm, I'm very upset. And my boyfriend's like, you know, it's going to be fine. I'm going to help you clean up. It, you know, won't be, it, it'll be all right. So I'm going to use now the Too Faced Born This Way. And my shade is Nude. Let's go drop there. He's going to help me clean it up. It's going to be all right. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. And what he doesn't seem to understand is, yeah, it sucks that my desk broke, but I've kind of turned into this huge DIYer. So I'm like, I mean, worst case scenario, uh, go over to Lowe's with the measurements and have them cut out a piece of, you know, whatever, plexiglass or plywood or whatever the heck. My brushes. I don't know if you, I mean, one makeup brush could cost you, you know, good makeup brush could cost you $30. Granted, I do get discounts in different places because of my profession, but when you have a large supply, you, you feel it's gut-wrenching. Well, I reached out to the only company that I can say that I truly trust and who pretty much knows everything there is to know about makeup brushes. So, I jump on Instagram because most companies are pretty good with answering their um, DMs. And I reached out to Anissa International. This is actually hers. Look at how sexy that brush is. Gorgeous. It's the Pinnacle Foundation brush. Anyway. So I just emailed them because I'm like, if anybody knows how to get pieces of glass out of brushes, it's gonna be Anissa. She's gonna know, and if it's on, if it's not doable, then you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet, and I'm gonna throw out my brushes, and that will be that. I'll just have to little by little start buying brushes again. And I, uh, I had, you know, been, I had kind of accumulated brushes where I just kind of left a certain amount for myself and then a certain amount for my clients because with COVID and all. I can't, um, they have to be sterile. So they have to be clean, they have to be sterile, they have to dry and be ready for the next client. And so I have multiple, multiple sets. Had multiple sets. And so the ones that were on my desk were my personal brushes, um, but I had some that I had just washed and set down here um, from my client stash. So it was kind of a, of a mixture that I had them you know, kind of dry in here and um, so as a, after I sent the message, I was in tears as I sent the message, I came back downstairs and my fiance was already cleaning up. And, um, and uh, so he's already cleaning up and you know, we're, we're kind of putting the um, brushes that are in this mess. They, some of them fell in my garbage can with glass on top of them. Some of them were on the floor. Um, in this separate bucket and I'm wiping the tears I was kind of cleaning and he's you know sweeping up and all that and I'm like I'm gonna write an email to the company so I looked it up on Amazon and granted I bought this in like 2018 right but for some kind of a fluke situation like I wonder what they would do what they would tell me how, if they would try to help how they could help um, what they would suggest like I don't know you don't know what to tell you try, right? So I reached out to them and I told them, this is what happened. Um, my desk exploded in the middle of the night. I mean, thankfully I wasn't sitting here recording something while it decided to just poof because that would have been on me. Um, and 
So let me grab my powder. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier. And this is in the color Translucent Honey. So I um, let them know and I included the photo that I um, showed you guys a moment ago. And I'm like, I'm worried now because I still had the two panes of glass that they may decide that they're going to spontaneously explode too. And it took a couple days and then I heard back from them and their response was, um, sorry to hear about that. We, um, it's not the norm, like it's not something that normally happens. Well, I should hope not. Um, and they have a 90 day warranty for a full unit replacement um, and a year replacement for parts. So we're in 2021 and I bought this in, I think it was like 2018. So I know that, you know, it's probably outside of warranty though I usually buy like that extended warranty that Amazon offers you. But I didn't, when I looked at my list of things that I bought, it wasn't on there. So I'm assuming I just, it either didn't offer one or it, I just didn't buy it, which is just weird. So I'm assuming that it didn't come with one. And now I'm gonna use my Anastasia. This is um, a bronzer, it's a powder bronzer in cappuccino. So uh, what she said was that, you know, they looked and they do have that part available. So for the part and shipping and handling, it would be $15. So, I I didn't answer right away because I've been in some form of customer service since I was 14 years old, you know, whether it was working at the mall, a few jobs or, you know, wherever, but I was, I've always dealt with people and it has always been um, kind of instilled into me that always try to help the customer because not only does that reflect in your reputation, but it makes them feel good. It makes them want to come back for more. It makes them want to refer more people to your store, to whatever it is that you're doing. So it's something that I hold onto in my makeup business. I try to make my, you know, my customers happy. I try to keep them, you know, at the top, at whatever I'm doing work um, on a client, I try to make sure that when I'm finished, they are, 100% satisfied and just couldn't even imagine having hired someone else. Um, Walker Edison does not think that way. I'm just saying. Um, I just, later on I replied back and I said that, hold on, I found my blush. I, um, oh, well, I'm gonna use this one, I haven't used this in a while. This is by Hikari. And the color is Tango. It's a really nice color. I don't know why I don't you think that way. way. Their um, initial response was to tell me that they're sorry. Hey, sorry. You know, that sucks. Um, but if you want us to go ahead and ship this piece out for you, then you can go ahead and send me your credit card information and we will be glad to replace that for you. Well, yeah, no duh. If I'm paying you for it, of course you'd want to replace it for me, right? So when I looked back, I didn't see that I reviewed the desk before. And although my initial um, review would have been five stars because it was easy to put together, it, you know, it, it moved from one apartment to the other, although you know, I wouldn't have put that in my initial review, but I do edit and update my reviews when I'm on Amazon. If I leave something and it's just, whoa, this is awesome. And then later on, well, guess what? I'm going to log back in and I'm going to tell people about the, so, um, I was just so disappointed. I responded and said, you know, something to the effect of, yeah, thanks anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and go to Lowe's and have them, you know, I'll give them my $15 and have them, you know, cut me a piece of wood or plexiglass or something. Um, that I know is not going to explode randomly because, you know, safety. So, um, 
I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna have to bring another one of these. You can't even see it, it just says Indalize because it's a scandalized 24 hour um, eyeliner and it's amazing. 24 hour wear and stuff doesn't come off and I like to tight line my eyes. So that was the end of that. You know, they kind of responded and said, okay, thank you, let me know if you need anything else. So um, I left that at that and cleaned up my mess. Um, I had sent a message on Signal, you know, to my family and we have like a group text and I said, so, hey, here's how my morning started out, you know, and uh, so my mom calls me, what the heck exploded at your house? Am I seeing this right? What is going on? So when I told her about it, I said, I'm just going to take the measurements and I'm taking my butt to Lowe's. And I'm just gonna have them, you know, cut out a piece of because it's a it's a tri it's a corner piece, but it's cornered on it's flat on the sides, and then the third side that would normally be straight, it's a rounded piece. So they would just have to cut that into the rounded piece. But if I give them the measurements, and that's only because they didn't have a, a handsaw like that I could just because if I did, I totally would have DIY'd it. So um, yeah. So my mom goes, she, she tells my father and he says, you know, I have something here that might work. So I'm like, well, bring it on over. Let's see what you got. So he brings it over and there's this brown piece of really thin, um, well, not super thin, but thin um, board. It's almost like pegboard. I don't even know how to describe it. But anyway, it's brown and it's kind of older, but I'm going to paint it anyway. Hi. That's what, that's what I'm going to do. So, um... I just placed it in the spot. I went underneath and I traced it with a marker and I handed it back to him. He went to back to his house, it was really close. And he cut it out for me and brought it back. I took it out back, I spray painted it white so it matches the rest of my desk and plopped it in, done, right? It cost me nothing, literally, because I have, you know, a bunch of spray um, paint. And um, my father had just happened to have this in the basement, so. It worked out where I didn't have to pay any money to have that replaced, but what I still may do is take the measurements of these glass pieces and go over to Lowe's and see what they have that they can cut out for me and spray paint them and replace these glass pieces because now I'm living in fear. Like I'm literally sitting here and I'm like, okay, like just chill and don't explode, okay? Because the amount of products that I have on here, if it did, it would be a very long time before you see me do another YouTube video because it would be, it would shatter me. This would explode and I would shatter, it would just not be a good thing. All right, so for my eyelashes, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to use this Essence Lash Princess. It's the False Lash Effect Mascara. And if you haven't tried this, I suggest that you do. I bought this on Amazon because I heard all the hype about it making it look like you have false lashes. My contacts are bugging me now. Um, and I was like, all ah, right, you know, it's another mascara. I was saying it's false lashes, here we go. Well, guess what? You're gonna see it for yourself because I tried this on and I was like, what? So, here we go. So, um, anyway, that's kind of my, um, that's one of my stories there that happened. And, you know, it, it kind of sucks that it might have been the representative it might have been you know for all i know she was new and they're like make sure you follow the script and make sure if somebody says something you say this and i didn't have the energy to um pursue a free piece of board i i just if it doesn't come from you to try to make the situation right I don't think that I should have to badger you for it. I think it's just, that's who you are as a company. And so now I know, you know, so if I'm shopping Amazon, Amazon and I see something else from Walker Edison, I'm gonna think twice before I buy it because I don't know if something goes wrong with it, that what's gonna happen? Like wh nothing, honestly. If it's not within the 90 day warranty for the full unit or the one year for the replacement parts, you're pretty much, you know, sucks to be you, Bill. So, um, I mean, I, I don't, I'm assuming I may, um, rectify that statement with saying anything that's glass from there, because I don't know what could possibly happen to wood if you bought it from anybody. I mean, unless it warps randomly and it's not supposed to, I don't know. but, um, 
by the way, my brushes that I was just talking, you know, rambling on about earlier, um, there was no way to save them. And Anissa International was good enough to help me out um, in other ways. And it wasn't even their exploding desk or exploding makeup brush, it just wasn't. So I'm just gonna let you look at this here. I did um, a coat and a half. Yeah. So my lashes look like, you know, I look kind of like Kermit without mascara on. But as you can see, I just put one coat and a half of this one on this eye and look at my lashes. All right, so last thing I'm gonna do here is separate my lashes and I have this little doodad here and it's just to kind of comb through your lashes and helps to take like the excess off. And I'll just use a makeup wipe to clean that off. So, um, I'm gonna use this. I got this little duo and I never used it and it's by KAB, but it came with a lip liner and a gloss. And since I'm wearing this kind of cranberry color, I'll put this on for now because Lord knows it's gonna come off in a little while anyway. But now we're gonna use the gloss, which is in color Charming. I hope you can see that. It's so bright. I can't. But if I turn the brightness down, then you'd be like, where'd you go? So, you know. Whoa, that's so nice. I haven't used this before. Look how thick that is. It's like a finger. Anyway, that's kind of like my getting it off my chest, um, kind of blowing it up in your ear on your screen or whatever. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, buyer beware. I feel like, you know, if you're going to research stuff to, you know, if you're going to make stuff out of tempered glass, maybe someone should be the company that makes it so that it's guaranteed to never explode and make that like the tagline of your <laughs> new product will not explode. We guarantee it. Um, because, and then guarantee it. That's, I think that's what ticked me off the most. If it was, if something that it doesn't happen all the time, like it just, it's not supposed to happen, it hasn't happened, um, it's not the norm, and you know that it's not the norm, then why wouldn't it come from you to say, holy cow, sorry, that just doesn't happen. We, you know what? This is on us, because that was not supposed to happen. We're backing up our merchandise. No. Not happen. So, anyway, here you have a very kind of subtle look for, I don't know, going upstairs and cooking dinner. <laughs> that's probably what I'm going to go do. And um, thanks for, you know, tuning in and staying till the end and listening to my horrible exploding desk story. Um, yeah, like I said, if you've had something like that happen to you, please leave me comments because I'm, I have never heard of that. I've never had it actually happen to me. And I, I guess I'm curious to see if anybody has actually come across that or just knew it. Like, yeah, how did you not know that, Christina, that tempered glass explodes? Hello. Um, but otherwise, you know, what can I say? So until next week, my friends, go ahead and take it easy, okay? Thank you.